Hey everybody, welcome back to Kindred Spirits on the Roof. How y'all doing today? I've had a really long day. It has been very windy, and since my job requires me to be outside, uh, it was not fun. And I am definitely looking forward to going, getting through some of these extra scenes. And uh, I'm drinking whiskey right now on top of it, and hopefully that doesn't impede my... Uh, my reading and commenting skills. It probably should, and it'll probably just enhance it. But I'm excited because look at all these extra scenes. I mean, holy shit, we gotta get through all of these, and I think we must unlock more because I don't know why else they'd be concentrated in the first three months otherwise. So I think the best way to approach this is just to do go chronologically and to group everything by couple and or character. So we're going to start with the earliest, which it looks like we're we're going back to our favorite quarreling couple, Matsuri and Miyu, who, you know, maybe can redeem themselves by shedding some light onto, you know, their relationship a little more, more so than we saw in the main story. And so this starts back in April, like right when the story's beginning, and when I guess the school year begins, I'm not totally up to date on my Japanese school culture, but I think a lot of the schools there start in April, because they're year-round, and I think April's like the starting month, but anyway. Almost there. Who do you think, who do you think will come back first, Miu? I asked Miu, who stood beside me with a stopwatch while I squinted toward the shadow of the building ahead. The lean runners should have been coming around under the shade at any moment. Well, the obvious choice would be Kitamura-san. I believe she won some prefectural competitions. You think so? I think we've got another nice, spirited girl this year. There might be a dark horse. You mean her? Today's run was a timed competition, a race around the Hoshikan building. It was something like selection training for the new members. After a few different kinds of training, we'd see what the new members are good at, consider their personal requests, and decide what sort of training plan to stick them with. Oh, there they are! It's Kitamura-chan and... Ah, there's Hina. She's tiny, but she's really holding her own. It's rough, but she's got pretty nice form. Sounds like she's been doing track for a while now. Yeah! Oh, she's pulling ahead! She doesn't say much, and you might think she's cold at first glance, but she's completely different on the inside. I like that she's competitive and dauntless. Huh, that's a nice spurt there. Kinemura-chan's picked up her pace as well. She's not going to fold to Hina's challenge. We did tell them today's times might decide who gets to go to the summer competition. Guess it makes sense they'd be serious. I wonder if Hina's good at pacing herself. I have no idea if she does it consciously, of course. Hmm, I'd say it's natural. In the end, Hina pushed past Kitamura-chan, and all the other runners had a- and all the other runners and arrived at the goal, indis indisputably in first place. Kitamura-chan had responded to her challenge, but failed to keep up with Hina's pace. She'd even ended up being overtaken by some of the runners behind her. Kitamura-chan messed up her pacing and self-destructed, eh? She'll have to do more basic and mental training, I think. She's plenty good for her first year, though. Yep, I think we've got a good crop this year. Yeah, this year's shaping up great. Well, first we've got to separate everyone into sprinting and middle to long distance and come up with some basic training programs for them. I'll go butter up the little first years who did their best then. Oh, Montsuri, why do I, why do I feel like your definition of butter up might involve a little more than, you know, normal encouragement? Having run all she could, Hina stood with her hands on her knees, breathing deeply. Would she have fallen to the ground if she could? How cute! <laughs> I don't, I don't know how that's cute. That sweat dripping from her is proof that she's run her hardest. Yeah, rather than her talent or instincts, I think this one's best quality is how much effort she gives. 
Good work, Hina. That was some nice running. The thank you. Well done. You were leaps and bounds ahead of everyone else. I gave her a congratulatory hug, but Hina twisted her face into a frown. Yeah, when someone's like done physically exerting themselves, as when you're running, physical contact is never fun. Like you don't like it's suffocating. It's claustrophobic. You're hot and you're sweaty and you're gross. And it's just like, you don't want anyone touching you. Matsuri Senpai, oh, it's hot and you're heavy. What was that, you prat? God, Matsuri. <laughs> Man. Well, I might be in to, I might be into the way she's completely unreserved, but heavy goes too far, kid. You haven't strained anything. Senpai can give you a nice massage. Come on, come on. Senpai, that's my chest. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Matsuri. Keep your hands to yourself. Oh, man. What an interesting kind of... I mean, I guess in the main story, I feel like, yeah, Matsuri wasn't a character we really got to see fleshed out. So this is, this is kind of... Kind of telling into her character a bit more. But seriously, Matsuri, you probably shouldn't, like, try to fondle the the chests the, of your, you know, track team members, especially without permission. It just seems so wrong. Especially when your girlfriend's, like, <laughs> probably standing just, like, a few feet away from you. God, seriously, she said no, Matsuri. She didn't sound too forceful, though. She really is an interesting kid. Mmm. Matsuri-senpai, was my time bad? Hmm? She asked timidly, so I followed her gaze to find Miyu having a staring contest with her record sheets. Oh, that? Don't worry about her. Miyu always looks like that when she's trying to come up with training programs. Hmm, I see. Hina sighed in relief. She's just too honest. So honest. She's cute when she makes that face too, though. I really admire Miu. I couldn't be captain of the team like this if she didn't take care of all the small stuff. I gotta say, something I do like a lot about Matsuri is that she's, she's willing to admit... Or not admit, but she's willing to appreciate Miu's strengths and acknowledge that they're not something she quite has, you know, they're not her strengths, though. But she doesn't see it as a bad thing that, like, Miu, uh... That Miu has these qualities that can sort of be compensated for in the whole of their relationship. And that's really nice, because I feel like when you have opposites who are engaged in a, in a relationship with one another, the differences are almost treated like... Some, like things that need to be fixed or to be worked on and in this case you know uh, even though we've learned that their relationship is something they kind of have to they kind of both have to compromise a little more in their relationship it's nice to see like Matsuri for instance admirably talk about Miu's strengths and, and appreciate them Mm, senpai, get off me. It's really hot and you're really heavy. Oh, come on. Let me touch you more. This cute new member with her potential for growth and her potential for teasing. Am I reliable, Miu? My last year of track and field is looking to be a rewarding one. Yeah, I don't, I don't get Matsuri at all, honestly, as a character. I mean, I see where they're going with her, but I personally... Uh, have no emotional resonance with her. So let's see here. There should be some other Miyu Matsuri scenes somewhere in here. You guys are all going to have to bear with me as I try to navigate my way blindly through some of these extra scenes. Come on. I know there's more Miyu Matsuri somewhere this month, right? Is there not? Does nothing else happen till June? That makes me sad. 
Yeah, okay, I guess not. I'm sorry that you guys had to watch me click through all that. You know, I wonder how this game would play. I kind of wish, like, all this had been unlocked. Like, this, these weren't extra scenes and you could kind of play through the whole main story with the extra scenes embedded in them. Because I feel like that would, that would really uh, flesh out a lot of, a lot of the story and the characters. Okay. Here we go. After our noon meeting, the team gathered to eat lunch, glancing over at what Heenan brought. I discovered it looked pretty fancy. More pretty than fancy, I suppose. Oh, that looks good. Let me have some. Uh. Your chopsticks move instinctively when you spot something tasty looking, right? I grabbed a bundle of cooked rice with veggies and tossed it into my mouth. God, that, that's, that annoys me so much. I don't care how close of a friend you are. If anyone reaches over to my plate of food without asking, I'm just ugh, so annoyed. Whoa, this is good. It's still soft and it tastes awesome. Your mom's a great cook, Hina. Mm, my mom didn't make it. Huh? Really? You didn't make it yourself, did you? Mm, no. Hmm, then who did? Mm, a girl who lives next door. Wow, really? Let's see how this stuff is. Oh, this is good too. Hey, what is this? Mmm, stewed chicken. Come on, Matsuri. Come on, Matsuri. Stay out of other people's lunches. But it's really tasty, see? I fished one of the carrots out from Hina's stew and this time tossed it into Miyu's mouth. Oh, this is good. Right? So why do you sound so proud about it? <laughs> now you're an accomplice, me. You can't get mad anymore. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Hina. I ate some too. Mm, it's okay. Chicken, chicken stew is a good idea. You get the protein of the chicken, and there's plenty of vegetables too. And the side dishes look like they're carefully balanced, too. And it's not just the taste. It even looks really good. I haven't seen this stuff cut decorative, decoratively like this except in catering lunches. This time I picked up a shiitake, though it didn't last long before it went into my mouth. The flavors absorb better when they're cut like that. That's what Yunane said. Yunane? That's the girl next door? <laughs> Just, mmm, I... Tomi Yuna. Tomi san, huh? She's a very impressive cook. She makes a lunch like this for you every day. Mmm. Hina's usual blank expression barely wavered when her lunch and friend were complimented, but I think she looked a little prouder than usual. I see, so she likes to show off this friend of hers. That's so nice. I wish I had someone to make lunches like this for me. I said, tossing a slice of egg in my mouth. It was perfect, softly boiled and not too sweet. As I chewed it, I sent Miyu a meaningful look. Quit stealing your junior's nutrition. Don't you think it's unfair how much nicer it is than mine, though? How am I supposed to get through your hellish training with just this? Sheesh. Fine, I'll make you lunch. Huh? Really? Well, I don't think I can do it every day. Oh, I'm glad she said that score. The make sandwiches. You're only good at sandwiches after all. Oh my god. These two, even when things seem to be good. <laughs> I don't know. It's... Oh, the teasing. Danger, danger. I may have gotten a little carried away. It's fun teasing me, but I don't want to gamble the sandwiches I just won. I should stick to finishing my own lunch now. But this Unichan, huh? I wonder what a girl who can make a lunch this good is like. Uh... 
Oh, see, it seems that we unlock more because now there's stuff going on in July. So let me just check and see. Do we have any other Miyu Matsuri extra scenes this month? Yes, we do. Though I don't know, maybe we should just stick straight with Matsuri? Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll try to maybe do this through characters first. I think that makes more sense. All right, junior favorite. Wasn't the one in April favorite junior? It's confusing. So hot, how did it get so hot this fast? It's so hot there's no choice but to complain about it. Though, as captain of the track team, I really do have to be grateful for the spell of good weather we've had lately. That indoor practice during the raining season was really draining our motivation after all. Now that we can use the track again, everybody's really throwing themselves into practice. If this keeps up, the camp will be pretty fun. It looks like we've taken care of our biggest headache in regards to the camp too, the food. Now all we've got to do is devote ourselves to practice. I should grab my drink and get back there. Hmm? Ah, oh, crap. They're all out of Aquarius? What's Aquarius? Is that a drink in Japan I don't know of? Dude, that's the worst, though. When you're at a vending machine and you just want one drink and it's out. Red lights flashed mercilessly before my eyes. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Ah, well, soda's good enough. Ugh. I could never... Sugary drinks are so hard for me to drink, like... If I'm dehydrated or I'm on the verge of dehydration after, like, a good workout. But I know some people who they will... They will just pound soda even when they're working out. And I'm just like, I don't know how you do it. it drives me... It makes me feel sick, honestly, and just dehydrates me more. I put my hand on my hip and chugged the soda in the style of an old dude right out of a bath. <laughs> I'm not sure I know what you mean by that, Matsuri. It's quite the picture. The carbonation going down my parched throat really hit the spot. Ah, <sighs> I run for this drink. I bet Mia would have a flurry of stinging remarks for me if she were here, like, you sound like an old man, or lay off the sugary sodas, or don't drink cold things in one go like that. But when the cat's away, and so on and so forth. Huh? Is there anything else I should keep in mind? Well, probably just that it's not like a stove at home with a pilot. You've got to turn on the gas and light it with the lighter. Huh. Is that how it works? Yep, it's easy to tell when you've got it lit, but you've got to be careful, since the flame can go out while you're cooking, and then you'll just have gas coming out. Sounds like Yuna. Yuna here? That's what I'm guessing. Okay, I'll be careful. That girl talking to one of the cafeteria ladies. Oh, it's Yuna-chan, like I thought. Uh, I'm a Shima senpai well, I've got to get ready for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm just trying to... That conversation. Who is who? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, what are you doing here? Um, I thought I'd get a look at the equipment in the cafeteria before the camp. Huh? We just asked you about it today and you're already doing that stuff? Well, yeah, it would bug me if I didn't check the sort of thing as soon as I could. I see. Well, you look like you have an eye for details, Unichan. It's not that, really, but since I've accepted, I figure I should do everything I can. I hear ya. Honestly, I was a little worried you only agreed since Hino was asking you, but I'm really impressed that you do this much. Thanks for all this, really. Nah. She muttered, hanging her head. It didn't look like she was being shy, but... Now that I get a better look at her, she's kind of my type, huh? You're pretty cute, Yuna-chan. Oh, yeah. Matsuri, you can't go conversation with a girl. 
without uh, you throwing some kind of some kind of compliment their way, right? <laughs> Whoops, I said that said it out loud. These things just slip out sometimes. Me who always tells me I shouldn't say unnecessary stuff. But people who won't under but people won't understand you if you don't put your feelings into words, right? Well, didn't they have like the same conversation during the summer camp? And Yuna got all freaked out because Matsuri proposed like quote unquote proposed to her. I feel like she would have been less surprised if if she already had this previous interaction with her. The reply I got was half hearted. That or she was just controlling herself. I don't know. This girl's mysterious in a different way than Hina is. Oh, there you are, Yunisan. Ah, uh, Inamoto Senpai. Huh? Miyu, what's up? What's up with you, Matsuri? Shouldn't you be at practice? Everybody's looking for you. I came to hydrate a little. Again with the carbonated stuff? Well, they were sold out of Aquarius. Really, Matsuri? Oh, uh, sorry, Unison. Don't mind me. Hina told me. Is tomorrow okay? Yeah, no problem. Huh? What is it? What are you talking about? She wants to know what everyone participating in the camp likes and dislikes, and whether there are any food allergies or anything. Huh? Even that kind of stuff? That's surprising. I thought she was pretty passionate before, but now I'm even more impressed by how swiftly she's acting. Have you done this stuff a lot before? No. Huh? Did I ask something awkward just now? I should get back soon. Excuse me. Take care. Oh, thanks, Yunichan. I watched as Yunichan bowed to us and left cheerfully. Wow. She's really something, huh? It was like watching an artisan at work or something. You said it. She's a keeper. I didn't miss Miu's muttering next to me. It made my heart jump into my throat. H huh? What do you mean? Does she mean she prefers a sensitive, serious girl like that to a crude, irresponsible one like me? I mean, I want her as a manager, stupid. Sensing my misunderstanding, Miu gave me a wry smile. Ah, ah, is that all you meant? Really, what am I getting all worked up about? Though, she really is impressive. Not only is she responsible, she's decisive and quick to act, too. She's smart and considerate enough to start thinking about people's likes, dislikes, and allergies from the start. Frankly, she seems suited to a leadership position, but from what Hina said, she's not in any clubs. Is there some reason for that? When I'd casually asked her, have you done this stuff a lot before? She made a face that was somehow familiar to me. But where have I seen it? Oh, you've probably seen it on Miu. We all know that Miu, Yuna, and Aki would all hang out together if they could. Because they're all so similar. <laughs> What's up, Matsuri? Hmm? Nah, nothing. When Miu glanced over at me worriedly, I realized that face Unichan made reminded me of something. The troubled look Miu gets when she talks about how we have to keep our relationship a secret. Yeah, it's 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 kind of cool how this game mirrors Hina and Yuna's relationship with Miu and Matsuri's. I really like that. Uh, I think it's cool that you have... Um, you have Miu and Yuna who share a lot of things in common, and you have Matsuri and Hina who share a few things in common, and it's cool to see. It's it's cool to see them uh, mirror each other. I wonder if Miu's here yet. I'm still nervous. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've made up now, but what if Miu's still mad and she stands me up? The worries flitted through my mind. 
But those worries appeared to be unfounded. I saw her waiting at our meeting spot. There she is. Hey, Miu. I can't believe you're late after calling me here yourself. From her voice, she's not really in a bad mood. Good, it's the usual Miu. Sorry, sorry, I was warming these up in the home ec room. What's that? I held up the bag and the smell of sauce wafted through the air. Is it? Yep, takoyaki. We didn't get any during the school festival, right? They won't be any good if they get cold again, so come on, let's go sit on that bench. Uh, okay. I got you a drink, too. Tea's fine, right? Oh, sure. Matsuri, is this a do-over of the school festival? Mm, well, something like that. Thanks. Miu's gentle smile. I really do love it. I'm so glad I made up with Miu. We both got so stubborn and got Hina wrapped up in our fight and let our last school festival go to waste. Really, what was I doing the whole time? I was on the verge of never seeing that smile of Miu's again. Shit, I'm tearing up a little. Okay, takoyaki, takoyaki. Hmm, reheating them kind of smushes them, huh? I stole a glance at the takoyaki in my lap so that Miu wouldn't notice. Though, I'm guessing she still did. They're, f they're fine like this. I'll have one, Miu said mercifully. She's not usually the type to start eating first, but she reached out and took the lead this time. Mm, they're quite tasty. Really? That's good. All right, I'm good now. I looked back up and smiled at Miu. You should eat some too, Matsuri. Then, ah, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But it's been a while. This is fine, right? Matsuri, if someone sees us... We've got to hurry, then. Ah. Uh, oh, you're so much trouble. Here. Hot. They're pretty hot on the inside. You should blow on it first. What are you, a baby? I do stupid stuff, and Miu scolds me with a frown on her face. I hope we can keep this going forever. I've got to work to make that happen, of course. On track and on stuff with Miu. We finished up the takoyaki, talked about stupid stuff for a while, and then the conversation petered out. While I was wondering what to talk about next, Miu opened her mouth instead with a determined look on her face. Matsuri, I've decided that I'm going to become a sports coach after all. I want to pick a college where I can pursue that. I see, so you decided. Are you disappointed? Huh? By what? I could tell that Miu's voice was trembling a little. What was she so afraid of? You don't think I'm giving up as an athlete? But you're not giving up. You've just found a new, a new path, one that's right for you. Of course I fell in love with Miu the track athlete at first, but you're still Miu no matter what you're doing. Mm, thanks. All that anxiety went out of Miu's voice. Huh, so Miu was worried about that. I see. Where should we go then? Well, I've found a few schools that have good programs for it. Then I'll pick from those. I'm sure there's somewhere I can get a scholarship from. Yeah, I've already gotten a few offers, too. Good. There's no way I'd go to a different college than you. We're going to the same place, right? Of course. We promised, after all, that we'd go together. Yeah, we did. That we'd go to the same college and live together. First, we've got to decide where, otherwise we won't be able to pick where we're going to live, either. Right. Somewhere that doesn't have dorms. Of course, that's what all this waiting has been for, after all. That's right, Miu's been waiting for as long as I have, and it was me who completely flipped out and caused her trouble, thinking I was the only one having to wait. Well, I'm sure I'll cause her more trouble in the future. 
Who knows what will pop up when we start living together. Maybe we'll have to wait for something else next time. My parents are like, we'd be more worried about you on your own than with Miu. And not just because I'd be safer. You know I can't cook or clean or do laundry or anything. They think I'd be hopeless on my own. I think I agree with your parents there. You better help with the housework too, Matsuri. Uh, of course I will. I wouldn't make you do all of it, Miu. You sound like a man who's about to get married. I hope it's not all talk. Ugh, I mean it. I'll try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Miu and I start laughing together like this, especially right after such a stupid fight. And now we've retired from the team too, so it all feels new. Those were my feelings as the two of us stared upwards. The sun shined dully over the cloudless fall sky. Soon it'll be winter, then spring, and then we'll really graduate. It's weird not having practice after school. Yeah. I wonder if they're all working hard. What are they doing today again? They can't use the track today, so indoor training, I guess. Wow, you still remember the schedule? What do you mean, still? We just retired. It's true that I'm a little worried, though. It's hard not watching over them while they practice. Are you lonely? A little, but I'm more happy, I think. Happy, since I can finally focus on just the two of us. I see, I guess that's true. Miu and I can take our time thinking about our future from now on. Maybe this fight of ours was just a detour, like prelims or something like that. Let's be together forever, Miu. Of course. Let's hold hands and go forward together. Together, forever, forever. Ah, oh, it's kind of redeeming. They're, they've started to redeem themselves in my eyes. Anyways. That looks like all the Matsuri extra scenes. So next time, I think we will pick up and follow suit with the... Miu extras. So yeah, I think this will be better just it looks like I can just go straight through one character. So thanks for thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and yeah. Catch you guys on the next one. Take care everyone. <laughs>